Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain super heterodyne receiver with great clarity. In my last video, I have discussed about tuned radio frequency receiver. With tuned radio frequency receiver, we were been having issue of adjacent channel interference that can be easily resolved using super heterodyne receiver. So in this video, I'll discuss about super heterodyne receiver with these outlines where first of all, I'll discuss about basics of super heterodyne receiver. After that, I'll explain block diagram and working of super heterodyne receiver. After that, I will explain gang tuning capacitor in super heterodyne receiver. After that, I will explain image frequency in super heterodyne receiver. And at last, I'll discuss about selection of local oscillator frequency in super heterodyne receiver. And based on this video, there can be so many questions in university examinations and in competitive examinations. So I request you to see this video till last. So first of all, let me discuss about basics of super heterodyne receiver. See in super heterodyne receiver, there are two things that we do. First is transmission and second is processing. Signal transmission that has to be done at higher frequencies. The reason is at high frequency size of antenna that is getting small and signal processing that should be done at lower frequencies. The reason is at lower frequency processing of signal that is cost effective, right? So one should know at higher frequencies processing cost is high with the circuit. Hence signal processing should be done at lower frequencies and at lower frequencies Transmission cost is high. That's why signal transmission that has to be done at higher frequencies. So in super heterodyne receiver, what we do is we do signal transmission at higher frequencies and we do signal processing at lower frequencies. Let me explain that by block diagram. So here in block diagram, first element is antenna. See this antenna that will be receiving RF signal, right? So this antenna that will be receiving RF signal and that received RF signal that we give it to low noise amplifier first. See whatever signal that we receive that will be having noise. So here we have signal with noise. That's why we need to remove noise as well as that signal is weak in strength. So we need to amplify this signal. So low noise amplifier that is performing two tasks amplification with minimum noise. So one should know, see this low noise amplifier that is amplifying RF signal with lower noise and usually it will be class C amplifier. See this RF signal, now that will be given to mixture that is first detector over here. See this mixture that will be mixing these two signal. What is the meaning of mixing? Mixing means it will be multiplying these two frequencies. After multiplication with output, we will be having addition of these two frequencies and subtraction of these two frequencies. You can observe at output here, we have FRF plus FLO. FLO is a frequency of local oscillator and second frequency is FRF minus FLO, right? Here, we want to do processing at lower frequencies, right? That's why we will be taking difference. So by using filter, we can eliminate this high frequency component that is addition and we can use lower frequency component that is difference of these two. And one should know this is intermediate frequency. Intermediate frequency is this FRF minus FLO, right? Now we give this intermediate frequency to IF amplifier after amplification, again we have second detector. See this second detector that is similar to this first detector. Here again we do frequency conversion. So from intermediate frequency using another oscillator, we can extract message signal over here, right? Again here we will be having addition of two frequencies and subtraction. After subtraction, we will be having message signal. And this message signal will be low frequency signal, right? And with this message signal, after amplification, we can give it to loudspeaker, right? 
so here one thing that one can easily understand see here we do signal transmission at high frequency here at antenna side we have high frequency after that here we have first detector and then second detector so at two stages we are doing frequency conversion right and at output side we need low frequency and processing over here that is cost effective so here we do frequency conversion two times here one thing that you need to note down see this first mixture that is generating intermediate frequency and the second detector that is generating message signal frequency right now based on signal at intermediate frequency there are few interesting concepts that you need to understand first of all let me explain ganged tuning capacitor in super heterodyne receiver first of all why there is a need of gang tuning capacitor see here we have intermediate frequency right and that intermediate frequency should be constant if this intermediate frequency is not constant in that case there can be issue of quality factor the reason is if intermediate frequency changes then quality factor of the circuit will change and that will deteriorate performance right so our basic agenda is to keep intermediate frequency constant see here flo that will be frf plus fif for that also i'll explain you the reason in this video itself right now consider local oscillator frequency will be rf signal frequency plus intermediate frequency so here see after taking difference one can have frf minus flo that will be intermediate frequency right but what if you receive another signal over here the reason is as and when you use radio at the time you may change your channel right now let us say you are there at 600 kilohertz in am now from 600 kilohertz now you are tuning your channel to 800 kilohertz then what will happen then here there will be some other frequency right let us consider it is frf1 so if it is frf1 right then what will happen here difference won't be fif see now frf1 minus flo that cannot be fif and what we want we want fif to be constant to keep this constant here we will be using gang tuning capacitor this gang tuning capacitor that will be tuning frequency of local oscillator with this rf frequency so based on this gang tuning capacitor now local oscillator frequency will also change and based on that it will keep fif constant right so gang tuning capacitor that we need for fif that has to be constant right now let me explain next interesting concept that is image frequency to understand that let me explain some interesting case studies see here local oscillator frequency that has to be frf plus fif right if here we have frf frequency so after mixture addition will be frf plus frf plus fif and subtraction will be this minus this means fif right based on filter we can eliminate this and here intermediate frequency that we can give it to if amplifier and then we can extract message signal over here the reason is fif is constant right but here image frequency that will create issue see here in second case i am considering that with the use of antenna we are receiving frf plus 2 fif and that is image frequency let me explain why it is image frequency the reason is local oscillator frequency that is frf plus fif so but obviously this mixture that will be taking difference of this two and addition of this two see addition will be frf plus frf plus 2 fif plus fif means 2 frf plus 3 fif but if you take difference of this two then it will be fif only so what is happening see here we are having fif signal so this receiver will be considering okay i am receiving proper signal over here 
practically this local oscillator frequency that should be rf signal frequency plus intermediate frequency right but here this image that is making sure that this frf plus 2 fif that is creating difference that is fif only right practically as if signal is having frequency over here that is something then that something plus fif that should be local oscillator frequency but with this frequency also here we have intermediate frequency means this image that is creating false reception over here right so at image frequency there will be false reception of signal so here as and when you receive signal with image frequency you will be always receiving false signal now how to avoid this false signal reception this false signal reception that can be avoided by keeping fif higher if you keep fif high in that case you can avoid that image reception right so that is one way by which one can resolve issue of image frequency but that will be always there with your receiver always remember this right see this image frequency that will be frf plus 2 fif right and that is happening in case of local oscillator frequency is frf plus fif right but as if your local oscillator frequency is frf minus fif in that case image will be frf minus 2 fif right but we should be keeping local oscillator to be frf plus fif for that i'll explain you reason in this video itself right so now i'll explain you why should we select local oscillator frequency to be frf plus fif right see this local oscillator that should be frf plus fif in that case what will happen this difference that will be fif but if you keep local oscillator that is frf minus fif then also difference will be fif see if you have local oscillator that is frf minus fif then also difference of this and this that is fif only right but we should not take local oscillator to be frf minus fif the reason is if you take this in that case there will be issue of cost of the circuit that i'll explain by practical example that will give you more clarity see here we have a gang tuning capacitor right and gang tuning capacitor that is having range of capacitance from maximum to minimum if this range is more then cost of capacitor is more right so what we want is we want lower cost of gang tuning capacitor cost of gang tuning capacitor depends on the range of capacitance from c max to c min if this range is high then cost of the circuit is high so what we want is we want minimum cost of gang tuning capacitor for that you should be having minimum range right let me explain that by some practical examples so first of all i'll consider trf that is tuned radio frequency receiver which i have discussed in my last video see here if you have am signal one should know am broadcast that is having range from 550 kilohertz to 1650 kilohertz right so for this range if you take a ratio of c max to c min then that is simply f max by f min whole square see that is the basic relation of capacitance and frequency for tuning range right so here you will be observing this ratio for this trf if you substitute the data then that will be somewhere nearer to 9 now let me consider second scenario with super heterodyne receiver in super heterodyne receiver let us consider fif to be constant i have told you fif should be constant right and to keep it constant what we do we use this gang tuning capacitor right so here c max by c mean that will be this f max plus fif divided by f mean plus fif right and square if you substitute the data then here we are keeping fif to be 455 kilohertz then this value will be 4.4 so one thing that you can easily notice see 
in TRF, if you use gang tuning capacitor, then you need higher range. The reason is C max to C min ratio is 9. By keeping FLO to be FRF plus FIF, this ratio that is 4.4. Now, what if you take FLO to be FRF minus FIF? In that case, ratio of C max to C min that will be F max minus FIF divided by F min minus FIF. So F max that is 1650, F min that is 550 and FIF that is 455 kilohertz. Just place the data, you will be getting 158. So with this frequency of local oscillator, here mixture will be generating FIF. But for that, cost of this gang tuning capacitor that will be having range of 158, right? C max to C min ratio is 158. So this is quite high. And to keep cost of gang tuning capacitor low, what we do is we keep local oscillator frequency to be FRF plus FIF, right? So this is how we have super heterodyne receiver. I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.